Now, this is the fly, or basically the fly, there isn't the fly I'm going to be tying is this one at the front. Now, it's a pattern I tied many years ago. It was a variant of the McPhail Mayfly. Uh, so again, it's an fly I tied uh, many years ago. Now, this was like a, a, a Loft Melvin version, as I called it. Slightly brighter uh, in colours, with the tail especially. This whole orange, and originally I did put it together as a, a bit of fun, though it, it's, it's worked really well. And as you can see in here, what I've got is the dark one was the original, this one here, uh, then a medium, and then a kind of light. This is a yellow. The only difference in these patterns here is the front hackle. Uh, this hackle down here is just a dyed, a dyed yellow French partridge, uh, the light coloured one this one and then the dark uh, we get a pack one here is this one here then you can see and as a dark the original now as I say as I request it's it's basically it's a, a fly it's got a, it's got a name that was given by so it's obviously a variant of the original mayfly the, the McPhail but the they call it the Vista which is after a because of the red head uh, a match kind of like you uh, Swan Vester match, <laughs> but anyway, it was just a like a, a name they used. I'm um, catching it on such and such, so they know exactly what, what fly it is. Now it's, it's very simple to tie, uh, just a French partridge type mayfly, and it's a colour combination. As I say, if you're going to be fishing, I was the two locks I was mask and Melvin, Melvin the most like. Now the thread I've got here, this is a. Uh, Uni thread and eight oh. Just going to run it down to basically in line with the barb of the hook to there. Now the tail I'm using this is bleached and dyed. This I got this from Vineyards. I had three or four tails from them way back, and I've still actually got some. The only fly I actually tie with this is is this and this mayfly. So what you're looking for is a good. Half dozen fibres. Just bring it 90 degrees from the, the, the tail itself and tear it off. That'll line up the tips. And a broken end there, let's just take it away. Now you're looking for a tail length, round about say an inch or so. Two and a half mil or so, or two, sorry, 2.5 centimetres. You want a good tail in these large mayfly. Trim away, just keep it the length of the body. The rib of the fly is the, the uni floss and the hot orange, it's this nice fluorescent orange. There is a bright fly, as I say, it's just uh, you'll certainly see it, but in the dark waters it's, uh, it certainly works. I'm just going to tidy the area up, so I'm just going to take my thread up. Nice piece of thread, when we come down. Now just before we get to the, the tail, I'm going to tie in some dubbing, and this is a light olive uh, seals fur. Now I want the red thread to show through at the back a wee bit, so just we lightly take my thread in, stretch out the, the dubbing, so basically where you can see it, but when it's wet is when you want to see it. So that's quite light at the back. And then we work our way up. You need to stop round about. Then you've got a body hackle and then a French partridge hackle in front. So we'll give yourself a good two and a half mil or so. Now the the, the feather, the cape I used, I did two or three of these capes at a time. I'm on to my last one now, but this is just a it's actually a peach, a light peach colour. Now I don't know if you can see the orange that colour in it. Now you could use a light olive or a light yellow. So you tie this in, you see it's quite pale, so you know when it's wet you start to see the colour. Take away the fluff, make sure you watch the thread, keep a part of the stem to tie it in. 
So here's my hardcore pliers here. Now I'm just going to get a couple of turns near the, the top and then I'm going to work my way down. Don't be shy with the hackle fibre. Uh, these flies are fish best with a good length, not too tight or too short anyway. Just spin your floss a wee bit to tighten it up before you start to catch it in. Rub your fly around about five, six times or so. Just gonna before I bring this up and tighten this hackle away, just break it off. And then just bring your floss in front and up and catch it in. Get three or four turns before you trim it away. All I'm going to do here is just tidy up. You don't have to be too fussy with this because when we put dubbing in the head. And there we are. Now as I say you can use either two or three, two or three colours. Uh, the colour I'm going to be using is then to get this colour, this here. What I do is I dye it uh, a golden yellow, it's a venured dyes I use. And then a wee touch of scarlet, I mean a tiny touch and you'll get this nice, it's not orange though it kind of looks like that, but it's more a off the fiery brown looking at it, it's just the way it dyes. Uh, it's actually like a dark sunburst really. Then we tie it in by the tip. Just going to trim away. Mostly I do with the hackle, only enough to tie in. Catch it on. With the front of the hackle basically facing towards the eye. Tie it down. Now I'm just going to check the length here. I mean, some people like a long fibre on it, it's up to yourself. I'm actually going to take two or three fibres away, they're just too much. Then what you do is wind your hackle one, one turn in front of the other. Nice straight turns. Till you're happy with the amount. I mean, it depends, each feather is slightly different. As I say, don't be shy with the, the large flies, the large mayfly. Just going to be quick look. You can always go back if there's too much. Yeah, that looks fine. I usually take the thread to the eye. These stems are thin, so I fold it back. Then I can break it off. Obviously the hackles are twisted, the fibres are twisted, so you've just got to bring them round. See how they're sitting. That'll do it. Now I've got some scarlet seals for. I've actually mixed a wee bit of red SLF into this as well. So nearly dub it onto your thread. Now the, th the threads bring it to the eye, slide it up, and you want to work from the, the eye up to the, the hackle. Don't be shy with the dubbing. This is how it gets its name, this fly. I mean the ve the Vesta March or Swan Vesta matches anyway. It's just a nickname for it. It's just because of the red head. And then to basically what finish, just I like to, when there's dubbing especially, just put some varnish onto your thread and then with what finish. Just pull back the, the dubbing, come in with around about four turns or so. Trim thread away. And here we are. That's uh, the fly done. As I say, it is uh, just a, a very gaudy mayfly pattern that works and uh, it certainly catches fish in uh, Melvin if it's if you've got this colours or these colours. Put two or three in your box and I'm sure when things are tough going, this is the type of fly that can, can save your day and uh, catch you a few fish when everything else is fell by the wayside as they say. And uh, it is an unusual colour combination. It's got an unusual nickname. So it's named after a match called Swan Vesta or the Vesta. And if you want to give it a go and fish it in your waters, just let me know how it goes. So thank you for watching. Until next time.